Ah, uh, yeah, that's Catholic talk. Elevation Church is in some controversy because they are thinking about leaving out some important details about Jesus' death and resurrection for new people coming to the church. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You're gassing it. Am I? Yeah, you are. All right, let's watch this that video. That is not what they said. Let's watch this video real quick. That is not what they said. <laughs> let's watch this video real quick. You feel me? I gotta... You know what I'm saying? I'm not glazing, but you know what I'm saying? That's not what they say. I won't get with you. I was kind of going off the head because I forgot the story. I saw this video like a week ago. Just when I thought that the shenanigans could not get any more severe within the church, I am once again, unfortunately, proven wrong. It looks like Elevation Church has opted to not say the word resurrection on their Easter invites. Uh, the words also include Calvary and the blood of Jesus. The digital content director for Elevation said the following. For us, the most important thing on Easter is inviting people to church. This means reaching people far from God. So we're not going to use the words Calvary, resurrection, or the phrase, the blood of Jesus. We won't use language that will immediately make someone feel like an outsider. In other words, we want to water down the meaning of the gospel so that it is easier to stomach to the non-believer. What you do to get somebody to walk into church is what you're going to have to keep doing to keep them in church. If the word resurrection is too alienating for an invite, what makes you think that they're going to sit through a 30-minute sermon about the resurrection, which is what I hope you're going to be talking about? Wow. So this is why people should just stop giving their opinions when they're stupid. Like, I just don't feel like non-pastors should be giving pastoral opinions. Um, okay. So let's, this, there's a lot of meat in that in that video. You're guessing it because they never said they're not going to emphasize the resurrection. They're going to just talk about it in the um, in the service. Okay. So what's what's wrong with getting people to church, regardless of how you do it? He claims, well, you got to keep doing that. Okay. Have you ever went to go try a new restaurant because you get 50% off your first meal? You ever had that before? Mm -hmm. Like you had a coupon, you know what I'm saying? You go yeah. try it. I got a coupon. <coughs> you didn't expect the same coupon every time you went. If somebody was like, hey, man, you know, just come try it. First one's free. You're like, well, second one, third one, fourth one should be free too. Mm -hmm. no you got the first one free to get you in the door this one got you in the room right mm -hmm. it's the gimmick that gets you in the room the marketing team is not the pastoral team bro what that marketing team is doing to fill them seats is on the marketing team and that's good that's why i don't even i'm not even against people doing third-party marketing teams you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. hey let me just call this marketing company to come and just do our stuff they don't matter if we're if we're showing a strip or a church, they're going to just market us the same to get people there. They know our brand's values. They're not going to disrespect, you know, the brand. They're not going to be cussing on banners and stuff. But whatever, going to get people in the door. So our job, he said, our job is not to fill seats. It's to make disciples. Well, you know what? Where do you think the disciples come from? And if numbers didn't matter, Jesus wouldn't have mentioned that he fed the 5,000. He would have said he fed the people. How many you feed? A lot of them. Nah, bro was like, five thou, five thou. He was Big flexing. Five K. He was flexing. Man for man. He, he, wanted for disciple. he wanted everybody to know how many he was really out there helping. Crap, crap. So, you know, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm I'm sorry, but it ain't nothing wrong with getting people in church. That's 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 our goal. Mm. That's our goal. And if you if you just have decided in your own head that like uh it's just to it's to build disciples, that's stupid. Where do you think they're gonna come from? Mm. Oh, they just never have to. That, 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 that even, I don't even know how to address that. That didn't make no sense. Mm. It's not our job to fill seats. It's our job to make disciples. Okay, mm. that's what churches with five members say. Like, yeah, that's how they. That's how they justify staying so small. Uh, do you think that there's a there? He made a difference between. I think he made a difference between filling seats and building disciples. Like filling seats is just like people in the door, like them, them club people had to be handing out stuff on the strip. I think that's what he equates filling what seats you, to than you, building disciples. Bro, what do you gain from going to church? For it to be like, like, oh, you know, you know, the patty's gonna be there. Like, it's a mess of people, but was anybody really, really saying like, oh, I'm just going to church just to smoke? Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna get turned a little bit. I'm gonna drink a little, smoke a little song. You know, say get in the bag. You know, what I'm saying I might leave with a with a baddie. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to church to go listen to Lord, I lift your name on high. <laughs> so no. Like, you know what I'm saying? And whether you're going to have a real worship experience or not, it, it really doesn't matter. That's not our job. Our job is to introduce you to Christ. Like, you know what I'm saying? What did you say about the vine? Uh, not coming to me. He's the vine. We're the branches. It's his job. It's Jesus' job to provide it. We're just there to be the first touch. Mm -hmm. I'm just your first, I'm your first touch point. And it's Jesus' job to 
to get you to do the rest. I'm not trying to convince you. Yeah. I got to just get you in here. I'm trying to convince you to pull up to the church. Hey, bro, pull up to church on Sunday. Hey, bro, listen to the word. Hey, bro, read your Bible. I'm supposed to translate mm-hmm. everything for you and tell you how this scripture speaks to you? Mm-hmm. That doesn't make no sense. So we're, it's not our job to build. The, it really is not our job to build disciples. Like, yeah. I, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, it's our job to go out. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. He, he, said called us, he called us to carry our cross. And... Mm-hmm. Come on. She so said, he said, it's not our job to build disciples. To build them. So what about well, like the Great Commission? Like when he, Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah. say. Like maybe it is like to to build, but just the way that he was saying, like it's not our job to like fill them. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to use like words without just using synonyms. Like it may be our job to to train them and equip them. Like, but it's not our job to fill them up. Like we're not the Holy Spirit. Like it's our job to introduce them yeah. to the option. It's our job to like say, this is what it can look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what you should do. Like, but it's their job to go and do it. Mm-hmm. Like that's the whole point of salvation. That is the entire, the entire point of grace. Yeah. That's why grace works. And that's why grace is so unabounding. Abounding? Abounding? His grace abounds. Does his grace abound? Yeah, his grace abounds. Abounding, huh? But I said unabounding. Oh. His grace is the abounding. <laughs> Her grace, his grace is hecka. It's hecka much. It's, he- it's hecka much. It's hecka like way, way, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's glazing. Nah, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> his grace is glazing. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's why it's so that's why it's so much, and that's why it can constantly work. Yeah. Is because it's like we're not doing anything to deserve it, but we have to accept it. Like we're not doing anything to really have earned it, but we gotta take it though. Mm-hmm. So So but do you feel like them not mentioning things like resurrection and Calvary? And they said they don't want people to feel like outsiders. Do you feel as though that it, that is watering down the gospel? No, because that's not what, bro. This billboard is not the gospel. Mm. What? That's how many people that just that just spend money to say like Jesus is coming back and they put it on the billboard. Wow, thank you. Who do you think cares about that billboard? People who already knew God. Mm. Nobody who does not. They're saying I don't believe in God. I hate God. He killed my mom and my daddy never loved me. Like I'm not. I got. I wanted to do God. They're gonna look at Jesus coming back. Wow. They're like that's even worse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm saying like the opposite. I was about to pull around the block. Why would I be excited for that? Why would I be excited for the opposite around the block? <laughs> Cause the opposite pulling up is crazy. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's funny, God. bro. That's funny. But, but yeah, that's no crazy. So they, they're not they're not really with that, bro. Mm-hmm. But I'm just thinking like people, people who need it. Like, what would they respond to? They might respond to an Easter service like I could just imagine some lost souls who remember going to church with their grandma every Easter. Mm. I remember Resurrection Sunday, where we go and receive the blood of Christ. Like, they, what? They don't know what that means, but just the the nostalgia thing of Easter. I remember my grandma making me go to church every Easter. Let me go see what this is about, mm-hmm. and then see like just imagine, imagine them coming down at the end of service to go and get that prayer. What? Who cares why they came in there? Mm-hmm. Like, who cares? Even if they came in there because it was a big booty girl in there. Like, who cares? Yeah, they could have been anywhere else. Who cares? I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that about Christians. They say you should only come if you... That that literally says be perfect before you get here. Like, why are mm. we seeking perfect members? People who already love Jesus because we have the gospel. That's gatekeeping. That is gatekeeping. Yeah. Well, we're not going to water it down. Like, imagine speaking in thee, thy, thine... And if you don't understand, then thou shalt not come into church. <laughs> Just imagine. Yeah. That's that's what it is. It's saying if you don't read the King James, you're not making it into heaven. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I can't even barely read. Uh-huh. Let me just get, you know what I'm saying? It's like saying if you if you listen to the audible, you can't make it in. It just doesn't, it's gatekeeping. Yeah. I know we, we talked it's about gatekeeping. <clears throat> we talked about a certain church in Vegas. Which one? Central. <laughs> <laughs> about like how how sometimes they're it's their their word isn't advanced, isn't, right. isn't you know up to a uh, mm. up to a certain person's speed. Like right. it's not right, up right, to my right, speed. Right, right, right. I'm, right, I'm ready right, for something else. Right, 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 right. Do you feel as though that they're they're dumbing it down? Then who the uh, elevation? Yeah, elevation. Yeah, mm-hmm. elevation is central. Yeah, they they're central. That's exactly what they're doing. There you go. Now central be bringing the camel, so that's just different, bro. <laughs> He's <laughs> bringing that bro camel. Be guessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just be up there gassing it for no reason, bro. Hey, but you, the you saw the camel? <laughs> yeah. All Easter, like, you saw the cross? Mahogany. Yeah. But but <laughs> elevation, elevation is central. They're the same thing. Yes, they are dumbing it down. But like who's there? 
We could be who's our audience. And then two, Central has a lot, a lot, a lot of people who are 16, 17, and 18 there. And I don't know their numbers, but from what I know, I know a lot of people who were in high school, they just got their license and they were driving down to Central themselves. Mm -hmm. My mama don't really go to church. My daddy, he used to pray for us when I was real little, but he, he stopped when my grandmama died. And you know what? I just want to go to Central. And I have friends up there and I go to Starbucks after and we take selfies. And you know what? Like going to church for Starbucks is not really what you should. That's not like kingdom behavior. However, that's how you going to get a 16 year old there and it becomes a habit. And then they start saying, oh, I kind of miss church. Oh, you know what? I, I think I need a girl. Like I met, I met a guy now. He goes to a different church. Let me go try that church out. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I remember that kind. Of, I remember learning that stuff at church, and it never was this deep. But like I'm learning, I'm growing now. Like Central is a starter church, especially like I'm saying because of those girls and guys who don't who just got their car. I say girls because I know a lot of girls who did this. Like it's a, it's just a whole aesthetic. So let's stick on girls for a little bit. Like it's a whole aesthetic <laughs> for these teenage girls to get their car with a when they got a little puff puff thing on their key yeah. and they're going taking a picture of their bible study and their starbies while they're in at at youth group and like their mom and their dad don't really care like they don't really care about church so they're going on their own instead of going to a club that why is that wrong mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying i just wish we would keep it as that and stop acting like central is like the church like but like for that like that's yeah. it's amazing for that same with elevation mm -hmm. like they're gonna get all these um tumblr girls there for easter this is what what's wrong with that who they beautiful day today you nah. was it a vape? That was a <laughs> why, why they hit the East Sing at church? What a beautiful day it is. Anybody have a charger for my blinker? It takes USB C. Yeah, it's a fast charger. It was a tumbler. <laughs> I meant to be a tumbler. That was a Stanley. It was a tumbler. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, so what? Well, well, and this is why this kind of speaks to like how it would be tough to be a leader. Like this is why pastors get judged more because I making these decisions makes me anxious. Like I make the wrong decision about leaving what which words out of which sermon to make it uh, digestible for one people. And I go to heaven. He's like, no, 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 no. Use my use a, use a cinnamon synonym. I, I didn't yeah. want you to use that death. Yeah. Ah. yeah. So I think I think the biggest thing is like you can you can you know make it more digestible for the yeah. masses as long as you're not lying right. and you're not disgracing God. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing those things, it's good. I would, I remember like interacting with some people who told me like they didn't like the way that I would tell stories on the bus because you know I tell stories, Bible stories on the uh, bus. Yeah, you know and you saying? would like you would set them in like hood, like you know what so I'm the boy Paul. You so feel me? Boom. So boom, you know what I'm saying? No pulled up, and he was like, "Yo, I gotta build the whip." That's what God told me to do. <laughs> he was like, "But guess what? I got bad news. Only two of each of y'all could come." And they was like, they started scrapping over it. They was like, "Who's really finna go?" And then I was like, "You know what I'm saying? All y'all ain't finna go." So y'all gotta figure that out between y'all, bro. But all I know is when I pull up in seventeen days, y'all yeah. better be right here waiting because we got four days and forty nights of water. So my thing is just like, what the fish do? But we can talk about that later. Because mm -hmm. like, did he really like make the fish? Wait, nah. I think the animals. Well, the oh, I think the fish survived. I think the fish survived. How are you gonna kill no. the fish? They drown the fish. That's what I'm saying. But only two animals survived. That's fact. But no. how do you, how do you put? We'll talk about that later. Huh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Bro, build a fish tank. I'm I'm telling you. Bro had to like build a box for the fish to drown. Reverse drown in. Oh, wow. He supposed to have killed all the fish. He supposed to have all the animals. Out. Or there was no fish back at that time. That don't even make sense scientifically, though. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, Oof. so you know I used to tell my stories on that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to just. Hey. That's a, that's a question I gotta ask. Where did, where did fish go? That's bad. I need some. You know this, is this is stressful. This is stressful. I don't even want to open my mind. I want to close my you know mind. But anyway, um, <coughs> so I remember just somebody telling me like they didn't like the way that I would tell stories. They they told me that they felt it was blasphemous. Yeah. Because I'm taken away of the from the uh, what do they say like, like the essence. The, what is like when you like the, the the holiness? But what's the other word like? The holiness. Whatever they they would say like divinity. The no, like the the sanctification, whatever it is. Yeah. But they would say you're like you're taken away from the holiness and the sanctification of Paul. Like Paul has some level of like holiness on him, and and Mary, like you ha you're taken away from that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's Catholic talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you're praying <laughs> to Mary, and you know, I, I and I, honestly, I feel like regardless if you feel like I'm taken away from it or not, like it's making somebody to understand, and that's the problem. Like we're talking about some, hey, you got to learn math. It's like, so can you help me, like, baseball term? Like, so if I had two baseballs, I took away. No, 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 no. You have two. <laughs> okay, but you mean, like, two um, two Pokemon cards? No, 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 no. Two. 
and then add two. It's like, how many you have? It's like, but you mean like two, two basketball? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying, dude. Yeah. That's what we're saying, dude. All, all bro did was like, hey, for the Instagram post, you know, we're going to spend probably about $50,000 on Facebook ads. What would probably be best for the budget is if we omit the word resurrection because it's too big. Let's just stick to Easter because most people know what that is. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, oh my God, blasphemy, blasphemy. They don't believe he rose. He did not rise. <laughs> like, no, we just use a different word. It's like, bro. Like, we're not saying resurrection, we just say bro got up. It's <laughs> like, bro, you don't, they don't know about optimizing for retention. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole other thing. Bro, 